Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Miniature and today we are going to be DIYing Emma from Lego Friends into a 4 inch figure. So here you can see the before and now we're, this is the doll I'm going to be using for her. Her name is Varia and yeah. So this is the doll she was before. This is um, that one Aya I believe is how you pronounce it. Alright and so alright. Um, all these dolls have the basic five points of articulation, movement at the head, shoulders, the hip. Their hair is removable, pretty easy to remove. Then mine came with some smudges on the face, on the lips too. Yes, yeah, so we definitely gotta remove that. Shoes are also removable. So it's the outfit. So yeah, I changed her into a crafting outfit, one I don't really care if it gets messy or not. And the skin tone, if you have not noticed, is it's a little bit different than I'm using for this doll. Because I felt like the other one was a little bit too pale for Emma. At least from the Emma I remember. And so now I'm going to be using some nail polish remover to remove the freckles and the eyelashes. And just everything I don't really want on the face. And the extra smudges and the lips. Hopefully. <laughs> and so the, the nail polish remover did not end up working. So I had to use an exact knife to kind of shave off a little bit of the paint. But oh well. So now we're going to be painting on the eyelashes. So I'm using some black paint. And yeah, I kind of did this off camera because I got a little bit nervous and did not want to mess it up. Because this is the part where it's really, really difficult to do because it's so small. And so once that has dried, there's my finished project. Um, one eye looks different than the other at the moment, but I promise it will look so much better. Yeah, so now we're just going to be painting on the eyebrows. Um, just using some more black paint for that. Now when we're looking at Emma, the shoes, she needs some white shoes, so we're going to be taking off those ones. And then I'm just going to begin painting up, and I have found it a little bit easier to glue it to a bit of cardboard to hold it for a painting mat, is what we can kind of call it here. And so, yeah, we're just going to be painting on the white, and that's probably going to take quite a few coats. And I do recommend for this kind of plastic that you use Mod Podge before you paint on it, so yeah. Um, I'm going to place this on Emma. That was about after six coats of white paint. She looks so cute. Alright, so now this is um, the Emma I could find. I couldn't find her original head, so she has the rebooted head. Um, but I have the original outfit, so I don't know why I couldn't find her other head. Um, and so, yeah. now we're going to be painting ooh, the dress. And I'm doing a coat of Mod Podge just because it helps the paint to stick better since I'm using acrylic paints. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to set them off to the side to dry. And now that... Um, Emma's eyes have dried. We're gonna add on some white paint right underneath uh, the black, kind of leaving a little bit of black at the top, a very, very thin coat. Um, so you yeah, can't really see the angle. Um, uh, come on, I would say, yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Oh my goodness, and so I did fix it up off camera too because I couldn't really see if the camera in front of me. Um, so now the next color I'm gonna be using is. This one's called Pale Blue, and it matches Emma's skirt actually pretty well. So, I'm gonna paint this whole dress with that. Um, and because I like to, with this green, it's actually, since we're going to a lighter purple, it's easier to do like a coat of white on it, so the paint sticks better. <laughs> so, did the whole thing in the light blue, because it's close enough to white. Um, and so, yeah, and then we're gonna do several coats of that. Going back onto Emma's eyes, I am using this acrylic paint. This one is called Christmas Green. And I'm gonna go and paint on there for some color on the eyes. Nice and big green eye. And I found it easier to make the eyes a little bit larger because then once you add in your second coat of green and then your pupil and then some white dots and stuff, it just makes, looks so much better with bigger eyes. So trust me on that. But however, since it's DIY, you can do it however you would like. And then next coat of green I will be using, this one is called Holiday Green. And then we're going to leave it with a little bit of the darker green on the outside. I like to use about two different shades of green for everyone's eyes just because it makes it look a lot more like a human eye. So now I'm going back in with some black paint, painting on the pupil. 
And so yeah, it's taken quite some time <laughs> right there. Probably could have made that one speed up a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add on the white dots to the eye. This one is super duper fun. I love doing this. So the bottom dot, you're gonna wanna make a little bit larger than the top one, and it just adds some cuteness to the eyes. I love miniature eyes. I love doing them, they're so cute. <laughs> Like an adorable. I love it. I'm gonna allow that to dry. Never mind. All right, we're going in with uh, this pink. This one is called Pink Blast, and we're doing that for the lips. Ooh, it's so cute. So it kind of looks like the old lips, but it's more. It's a little bit brighter. And besides, I wanted to kind of fix them up since mine came with a little bit of a defect. Great, so now we're going to off to the side to dry. Now I'm going back in on her face a coat of Mod Podge so I don't accidentally chip the paint. <laughs> oh yeah, going to allow that to dry. Meanwhile, we're going to start working on her hair. So I'm using this yarn I bought from Hobby Lobby. This was like $4.99 there. And we're just going to start cutting it into some long strips. Um, you're going to cut several of them. Yeah. <laughs> It took actually quite a while to cut these. Um, so yeah, until you get a good pile like that. And it's over 12 inches, probably about 14, 15 ish each strip. And so usually about 60 is pretty good. <laughs> I don't even know how many you cut. And then you're gonna take each strand, you're gonna take a little comb and then you're gonna go ahead and divide them. They're gonna go to four little strips and you're gonna pull each one just like that. And then that makes some cute little hair. So right now it's curly. <laughs> Then we're going to end up straining it once we're done. So we're going to keep repeating that to every strand until you're all done. You end up like this. This is the most time consuming part. So it's the part where you kind of want to turn on a TV show while doing that. It's really satisfying though. So whenever looking at Emma's hair, it does have a little bit of curl to it. So we're going to leave it kind of curly. So I took my hair straightener and I put it on the lowest setting. Never the highest because otherwise it melts the yarn. And then you're just going to strain it to how straight you want it. Then we're gonna start dividing up the the yarn, just like that. We're gonna take one piece. We're gonna go lay it flat on the table, and then we're gonna take a small little um, clump of yarn, we can call it, and no more than about six strips. And so you're gonna want to make them in different sizes. And so right now we're knotting it. Um, so some will be thinner and some will be thicker. Is kind of what you're trying to do. Like that's probably the medium. I'd say you can have a few more strips on it for thicker, but we're trying to get some thinner and then some thicker. Alright, so now we're just going to keep repeating that. And there's a little bit of a thinner one, so, because the thinner strips will go on the front, like the forehead of your doll's hair, and then the bigger ones will go towards the back. So you're going to keep repeating that till you end up with a lot. Usually about 14 is pretty good, and I ended up with a lot of yarn left over. That's okay, I'll use it for another doll. Tie that thing up, and then what are we doing now? All right, so now we have Emma here, and so we're gonna go and fill up the back of the head because, in case you haven't noticed, um, it's got a hole in it. So we're gonna go and fill that up with some hot glue, just like that. Then we're gonna glue the cotton ball on the inside, and it was it got pretty warm, so I would definitely recommend adult supervision or even some help. <laughs> it was pretty hot actually. So I'm just going to trim up the cotton ball once that dries. And I usually like to let it sit for about five minutes, let it fully cool down and then start trimming it. And then it doesn't even matter what size cotton ball you're using, not size, um, color you're using because it's just going to be covered up with the hair anyway. So yeah. All right, now we're going to take a glue gun and we're going to add a little bit of dot to the center of the forehead. And then we're just going to glue right where the knot is. Kind of hard to see because it's black yarn right there. And yeah, it's going to look something like that. And you're just going to keep repeating all the way down the head. Just like this. You see, that's probably my favorite part. It was really, really hard to do though with the big camera in front of me. So yeah, we're going to continue to glue it. Oh, this is so fun. It's satisfying actually watching the doll kind of transform from what it was before to like after. All right, so now the back of the head, it's also the same thing. You're just going down and gluing those on. And yep, gonna 
wait for it to cool down a little bit and then kind of start holding it making sure it's on there securely and I added some glue just to the cotton ball part and then go this is looking good so it's really really long hair <laughs> All right, moving back onto the dress now. It's had about, I think, seven coats of blue on the skirt now. We're gonna take some of this purple. This one is called Great Taffy. And we're gonna go and paint the shirt. And I'm also painting the belt, making the shirt kind of look a little bit longer. Since we've had so many details, it's kind of nice to have a longer shirt. It makes it a little bit easier. So, so I didn't, I didn't even notice that molded, what would you even call it, like tie on the front was even there until now that I'm editing. So that's actually gonna kind of bother me. I have removed it though before in other dresses, so. It's easier to remove, you just kind of have to scrape it off with, you know, exacto knife. So now I'm taking some white paint and I'm just painting on like some big dots to it. Since, oh, it's turning on, <laughs> alright. Um, so now we're cutting the hair down again um, to a little bit more of a workable size. It's a little bit easier to do and I'm using the hair strainer again. I'm going really, really slow. That's what you're going to want to do. Um, of course it's in feet motion, so it's going kind of fast. And then looking like that. So here's our um, little model right here. This is Emma. So we're gonna try and mock her hair how it has the twist in the back. All right, so first up we're gonna do the framing pieces. So I kind of section off some hair in the front. It's like a framing piece, um, just like that. I am not <laughs> very good of hair, so I probably don't know all the names to all the hairstyles that I'm doing, so. <laughs> Feel free to let me know in the comments what the hairstyle is called, because <laughs> I absolutely have no idea. So now we're kind of sectioning off the next section. We're going to kind of glue it in an angle, just like that. Yes, it's just like that, see? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using my hot glue gun, doing that. And then depending on what hairstyle you do for these dolls, it can be completely different, or you can just leave the hair down and have it be whatever, but... Uh, since it's not like a Barbie doll, you can't punch the hole, like how you take the hair and you punch it in each hole, and then you can basically do whatever you want. These guys, once you kind of put in one hairstyle, it's kind of what it is for its whole life. It doesn't really do anything else. Alright, so now we're taking those two straps right there, and then we are going to go ahead and we are going to... Where's the rubber band out? Oh no, we're going to cut it down a little bit more, and then, yep, we're going to go and tie it off. And I did that off camera because it was not looking very good with the big camera in front of me, so there we go. And kind of pulling it, making it a little bit tighter, and then we're just going to go ahead and twist it. Yeah, just like that, so. And then I went ahead and I glued the end of it, because the rubber band just was not working, so I used a little bit of glue, and that worked. And yep, there's we got the fun. Oh my gosh, she's looking so cute. And so there we go. Yeah, see, it's like a nice little twist. I think it looks so cute. Actually, I might have to do that to my real hair. <laughs> and we're gonna go and straighten a little bit because it was still a little bit poofy and a little bit too curly for what I was looking for. So there we go. It's also very very long. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice haircut. I did that off camera because I did not want it to be like lopsided and then you're also going to brush it through make it look like real hair and so that's really fun so don't be alarmed that's all just from basically thinning it um and yeah some dolls will lose more some um will lose less so don't be alarmed with that and then it looks like that and yeah look how pretty all right so now we're gonna trim up that little twisty thing which i probably should have made a little bit shorter i had a little bit <laughs> too much fun with twisting it and so we're just gonna go and trim that just like that there we go that's so cute all right and I also made her hair a little bit longer than um with the last doll I made her hair was a little bit too short so made it a little bit longer now we're gonna start working on her framing pieces so we're gonna go and cut that comb it through just like that oh, that's so cute redivide it and then we're gonna go and cut it see just like that how it's it's not very, very straight what I want it to be just yet. Yeah, so we're gonna take the scissors and we are just gonna go ahead and clip it going upwards, starting basically from where the first strand is a little bit past the chin and then going up from there. And there we go. Ah, she's looking so cute. There's no one do that to both sides. Um the framing pieces, whenever you're cutting them, do it to both sides, not just one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's looking so cute. Alright, so now we're going to be working on the headband because M 
love from Emma, I remember she always was wearing a headband. I don't know why this little figure that we got from Legos never came with a headband. She has a little hole you can put like headbands on, but she never came with her cute little purple headband. So we're gonna go and make that. I'm using some purple fabric I got from Walmart, in the fat quarter section. Also using some wire, but honestly, since I ended up gluing the headband on, the wire is totally not necessary. Um, See, so yeah, I'm cutting it. I want to say it was probably about an inch wide and maybe like four inches long. But I did end up cutting it. Then I'm straightening a hair straightener because I don't have to get the big iron out. And then yep, we're going to put it on the doll. We're going to cut it down a little bit. Obviously, it does not need to be that long. Same thing on the wire. Now, you can choose to use the wire or not. Probably I would not use the wire again just since I glued the headband on there. Because I was trying to make it so it's a removable headband. But that didn't work out, so now we're gonna go and do that. So yeah, I'm cutting it. Yep, fits. So now we're gonna make sure it's nice and straight, well, straight as we can get it. I didn't really worry too much actually about getting it too straight. And then, um, so we're gonna go and place it in the middle of your cut fabric, and then straighten it out a little bit more, I guess. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and glue it on. Put some glue on one end. And be really, really careful. I actually burnt myself doing this, so be careful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on there. Now you, so the, the wire is nice and locked in there. Find the end of the wire, and then we're just gonna go ahead and cut it right there. Same thing on the other side. And then apply some glue onto it, wait for it to dry. Same thing with this side. There we go. And then I just went and trimmed it kind of where the glue started. And so the wire's kind of just in the middle of it. So it's a little bit thinner. And then we're going to go and place it on the doll. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right. There we go. Ah, it looks so cute. See, I glued it on there and I covered it extra up with her hair. Oops. Yeah. The nice thing about having hair cover up all that. Oh my goodness, and here's the finished product. Oh, she's so cute. And so I went back through and I added all the details to her dress and painted the bottom of her shoes because I got really nervous about doing it on camera. And so yeah, it looks so cute. Oh, and the pink I also used for the flowers was called Fuchsia Pink. And then same purple, same white, same blue, everything like that. So, oh my goodness, she looks so cute. Oh my gosh, her eyes turned out so cute. And so what I forgot to do... Um, usually what I do for their eyes is I add on gloss Mod Podge just to the eyes and it gives them a nice little shine. I forgot to do it on her, but I'll have to go back through and do that. And so it just adds a extra spark of cuteness. So here's the before, our inspiration, and then our after all lined up together. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So the next one I really want to do is Olivia because I meet her, but she's definitely due for a makeover. So yes! Alright, let me know what video you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching on Everything Miniature. Bye!